to this one. So shall we? Well, you're here. You guys have made it. All the details, all the planning, all the tablecloths and the flowers chosen. Rob, you did a phenomenal job. <laughs> <laughs> wonderful, wonderful job. Before we go any further in the ceremony, and I told you this yesterday, and it happened in my wedding, it happens in every uh, wedding I have the opportunity to officiate, the day is going to go by so fast. We spent all these months planning, and the day just flies by. And so what I want to do before we go any further is I want you to turn around and look at all the faces of the people that are here today. <laughs> Soak this moment in. All of these people are here today because they love you. Uh, they want to be here to celebrate you, to support you, and encourage you uh, on this day where you are both entering into this new life together as husband and wife. Now you're here, and I want to know about your intentions as to why we are here. So I'm going to ask you to join hands. And Rob, we're going to start with you. Rob, do you take Samantha to be your wife? Do you commit yourself to her? To be responsible in the marriage relationship? To give yourself to her in love and work? To invite her fully into your being so that she can know who you are? To cherish her above all others? And to respect her individuality by encouraging her to be herself and grow in all that God intends? If so, say I do. I do. Samantha. Samantha, do you take Rob to be your husband? And do you commit yourself to him, to be responsible in the marriage relationship, to give yourself to him in love and work, to invite him fully into your being so that he can know who you are, to cherish him above all others, and to respect his individuality by encouraging him to be himself and grow in all that God intends? If so, say I do. I've had the privilege of getting to know you guys a little bit over the past couple months, and uh, it has been a privilege to see your love for one another. It's evident. Uh, the way uh, I, I love hearing about what you love about each other, that you genuinely are looking forward to doing life with someone who you just enjoy being around, who makes you laugh, who you just like spending time with. And that's exciting for me as a pastor to get to see that um, today and over the past couple months. Whenever I think about marriage, I think about a passage of scripture. And this passage of scripture wasn't intended, it, was, it wasn't written directly for husbands and wives, um, but I think it's very applicable uh, for us here today. Uh, it's, a, it's a passage that's found in the book of Colossians chapter 3. I'm going to read part of it to you now. Put on then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other. As the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. And above all else, above all these, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect harmony. So Paul is using this metaphor of putting on these virtues. One translation says, clothe yourself. So my encouragement for you today would be in the same way that you wake up every single morning and dress yourselves in physical clothing. And that's part of our routine. If it's not part of your routine, we have some issues we need to work on. But just as, as you do every morning, getting up and putting on physical clothing, in the same way, dress yourself in compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Every morning waking up, and as Paul says, put on love. Dress yourself in love. And that is the beginning uh, of marriage that God intends us to experience. This passage goes on further. And Paul, Paul says this, Wives, submit to your husbands, as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives, and do not be harsh with them. In the book of Ephesians, it says, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loves the church. And, and as we see, Christ laid himself down, gave his life for the betterment of the church, for the life of the church. This, this passage is, is calling you, Rob, to, to be loyal to Samantha, to protect her, to care for her, to bring her joy and happiness, to make her laugh. Samantha, this passage is calling you to be loyal as well, to be understanding, to be encouraging, to bring honesty into devotion, and devotion into your marriage as well. There's an old proverb that says, a journey of a thousand years begins with a single step. Today is the very first steps of this 
thousand mile journey that he's made. And what I would tell you today is that, and everybody here who is married would tell you that this journey is not always on level ground. It's not always going to feel like a leisurely walk down the hill. That there will be moments in this marriage that are feeling like you're walking up there, where the terrain is not always smooth, but there may be some bumps and some obstacles along the way that you'll have to navigate. But I would encourage you, as Paul says in this passage, that every morning, as you, as you dress yourself in physical clothes in the same way, wake up in the morning and say, today, I'm going to dress myself in love, in compassion, in kindness, in patience. My wife has to dress every morning in patience. Dress yourself in patience and meekness. And that will, will make the beginning of a beautiful journey that is marriage. Today, as you, you say, I do to one another. But marriage, successful marriage, marriage that intends for us, is when two individuals say I do to one another every single day. And, and it's two individuals giving of themselves fully for the benefit of the other person. And that journey begins by the stating of sacred vows to one another. The exchange of vows is the most ancient part of a wedding ceremony. For centuries, couples have spoken vows to one another. And while they are simple words, they have extraordinary meaning and importance. These vows are sacred promises, promises that are to be kept forever. So I'm going to have you, John and Candice, which we all look at each other. And Rob, let's start with you, and you can repeat after me. I, Rob, take you, Samantha, as my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, until death do us part. I, Samantha, take you, Rob, as my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, until death do us part. Now throughout history, uh, when you make a pledge, it has been deemed good to have a token to remember this pledge by. You have chosen rings, which is a very traditional wedding token to you. Rings are appropriate to the task because they are circles, never ending, like the promises you make to each other today. So we have the rings. Okay. <laughs> so Rob, I, I ask you to place the ring in the same screen and repeat after me. Samantha, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As I place it on your finger, I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder of the vows we have spoken today. Samantha, I would ask you to place the ring on Rob's finger. Rob, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As I place it on your finger, I commit my heart and soul to you. I ask you to wear this ring as a reminder of the vows we have spoken to them. So a prayer of blessing for them. God, thank you for Rob and for Samantha. Thank you for the love that they have for one another. And God, I just pray for blessing today in both of their lives as they begin this journey that is marriage. God, I pray that they would every morning, God, choose to put on love, choose to put on patience and kindness and compassion and humility so that they could be person you call them to be in this marriage. They could seek out the best for their spouse. God, I pray for health. I pray for a marriage that filled with fun and happiness and joy. God, we love you. 
Thank you for this beautiful word. Lord, thank you for this couple. In the name we pray. Amen. But we're here. All that is left is, is the best moment of the ceremony. <laughs> Rob, without further ado, it is my honor and privilege uh, on behalf of God and the state of Arizona to declare you husband and wife. Rob, we may kiss your bride. <laughs> Thank you once again for being here.